Coltrane. What's good, guys? This is Fallout here. Join with my man, Fatal Strike. We What's are coming up? at you live. The F2 duo is here. It is real, and it is happening. I am so excited to be here. Yeah. Fatal, how are you doing today, my man? I am doing fantastic. It's great to be here. Great to see everybody. So many OGs and vets here that I've known for such a long time. And honestly, one of the coolest things is so many new faces. So I'm extremely excited. Definitely. A lot of new guys. Honestly, me yeah. and Phil talked about that already. We walked in this venue expecting to see the old boys, and we saw a lot of people, and we walked in and we went, who, who is everyone? And not in a mean way, by any means. It's no, exciting. it's a great it way. There's growth in this community. I mean, there's new faces showing up, and it's been awesome to see. Gears of War 3 has been out for a long time now, and just seeing so many new faces and so many players dedicated to really making a splash here at this tournament. Definitely. It's just a great thing to see, and I'm very excited. You know, a lot of new faces, a lot of new people that I would definitely want to meet over the course of this weekend, yep. and more importantly, I just want to see how they play. Because uh, yeah, exactly. there's so many things I don't know about them exactly. that I'm excited to see like what they are physically capable of. Definitely. And speaking of new faces, so right now we have Infinity. Everyone knows Infinity. Not, yep. But on the other hand, we have Resilience. If you guys have not heard of Resilience, they're making some noise so far in yep. this tournament. Um, you guys, you just got done playing them, so you I have did. a little bit insider info. Yep, so I played them. We played a match really quick. Um, they ended up 3-0 defeating us. Some of the executions were close. I think it was 4-2, 4-3. We lost the King of the Hill, had a 120-0 lead, and then ended up falling a little bit short. That's okay. a pickup team. You know, yep. some of the last minute that's how things happen. But that's the thing. They're a real team, and they capitalized on those situations, and they played very well. And I'm really excited to see what they do here against one of the greatest teams ever in the world. Definitely. Like, Infinity has been known since Gears or one to be one of the most dominating teams ever, and now Resilience is going to have the opportunity to prove themselves against them. Yeah, let's see what they could do. And you know how it is. I was going to go on board with that mode, but he is going down low. So we're going to hop on with Ribs, who is going to be playing the host spot, a little bit more of a support role. And we're going to be joining up with Ribs. So Ribs, right now, we'll see what strat we got going on. Sorry, we weren't really prepared as we should have been. Yeah, we see Infinity pushing up top. I'm no, sorry, Resilience pushing up top takes out Flames back pillar. So four versus three in favor of Resilience. Ooh! Oh my God! But praise with the double kill. That was a beautiful grenade. Very well placed on his part. Yeah. Yeah, double grenade kill, absolutely huge. 3v2 advantage for Infinity. They need to abuse this man advantage. There's definitely a fight that's about to go down in the spawn right now. Both of their guys have backed up into the spawn. Violet and AJ Brokeback are trying to make a push up. They have one person with a Lancer in front of them. They both barely are able to stay alive as they're full red. And the engagement is about to go down right now, and things are about to get serious. And as you say that, he goes down, unfortunately. So he gets taken down. AJ is out. It's a one versus three situation right now for, I think it's uh, Violet. Yes, it is, and he's going to get taken down as well. So despite the early kill, you know, we saw some life out of Resilience. They did. One grenade that can shut it down easily. That's that, all it takes is that one grenade and that's it. Absolutely huge. That grenade, that double kill, even though the opposing team of Resilience broke ice just like that, Praise uses the nades to their full advantage, abuses the power weapon, grabs a double kill, and just like that, within a few seconds, yep. you just turn the round around. And yep. that's what you need to do when you're in a man advantage, you're a man down situation. Definitely. Nicely played his. So now we'll be a little bit more prepared for this round. We'll see what they're going to be doing. We're going to see a two low, three low for Infinity, three up top for Resilience. Yep. So that means Resilience is going to be flying up top. They need to push, and here we go. Here goes Resilience pushing to the opposite side. They're trying to catch a guy off guard, but Infinity playing smart. They know what to do in transition. They focus on getting in the spawn, and they're holding that down. They're focusing on these nades right now. Three guys on Infinity when looking from low side perspective, getting ready to push off top together. And here we go. This is what we're waiting for a fallout. They're making the push, and they're pushing up the stairs. Smoke's coming in. Fight's going down. The Big back pillar. Back pillar. Yeah, Praise takes out Violates, and Ribs takes out Almighty, Almighty Ian's. So four versus two situation is not looking good for resilience as Anthony takes out one but gets down right after. Or sorry, it's AJ. Yep. Anthony's still alive. He's still kicking. Full redded. Trying to make something happen as they're going wider and he's going to get taken down as well. So right now, what I want to see out of this team is a strat change. Yep. And what they're doing is not working. Infinity's grabbing the grenades. I think they need to contest those grenades. We'll see what they do here. Um, but here's what's interesting. Yeah. I just commentated with Ribs. And he yeah. talked a little bit about Infinity's play style, saying that the difference between us and a lot of teams is when we do have an opportunity for a stalemate, we're going to be cutthroat. We're going to literally just fly at these kids. and We're, we're going we're gonna to push. And we've seen that yeah. out of Infinity. Yep. Rather than slowing it down, grabbing dinner, they've gone with the nades. That's all they need to succeed. And, and they have so working. much confidence in themselves. They have confidence in themselves. They're all great friends. They have trust and their teammates, and you need to have that when playing Gears of War, and they're abusing that to its full potential right now. They have a nice ground count lead. 3-3 three, three up top right now from both teams, so Ribs tried to make a push, but got shut down early because of a smoke grenade, but Flames is pushing back Pillar, Whoa! and oh, Ian with a flake takes him out, four versus three situation right now for Resilience. Ooh! Oh my god, this kid just went off, and he's not done yet. Ian just got two him. amazing players, he's going in, he could get another one! Oh, oh my god! god! I he, cannot believe that. I can't that. believe what I just saw. This last is just playing ham right now. He okay. just went back to back to back. I think I know who we're going to watch in the contest. I from think now I on. know who we're watching next Ian round, too. Just went off on Infinity, and who does that to Infinity? I mean, I don't know, man, but that's what we're talking about that new talent, those players that are just getting hyped and they're feeling themselves on the stream and they're just going in. They know lots of people watching. There's some people who crack under that pressure, and there's some people who just like literally get a power up from it and just strive yep. from it. And this kid is feeling it right now. So so here's so that's something that's he interesting. Does. Infinity went back to their nade strat. They went back down low. They got completely whomped on the three up top. Decided to go back to their roots and do their what they call, I'm sure it's a base strat yep. for them. 
Um, but then again, it is Infinity. They can do anything. So here we go. They flip to the Same other side, thing. and they're going to be pushing on right hand here. As opposed to pushing on their side, they're pushing on right hand, which is a smart decision on their part. Yep. Ribs pushing up with these grenades. He's going to actually take out his Lancer and hold those grenades for a better time. And as I say that, of course, he takes them out. Probably got a call from a teammate. He tries to pick up the kill on the guy that's inside the jail. Here comes the push outside on the back pillar. It's a 2v2 situation on this back pillar. Resilience Anthony's going to get taken out. Another guy's going to go down. He is just the only guy alive. He's fighting for his life, Ooh, but he's not going to be able to clutch it. Praise is playing under Ruthless, and Praise is going to take him out. And just like that, Infinity steps it up. Even though they lost that one round, they're still staying calm, cool, and collected. They're up 3-1. to one. They're looking very, very good right here, John. And I think that if they keep up this momentum, it's going to be very difficult for Resilience. But as Resilience, you need to formulate a strategy. This is the second time that we've seen that low Low push from Infinity on the left side spawn, the, the courtyard spawn. Two, yep, two, two, so again. let's see what they do. Yep, I couldn't agree more. So, and I, you know, Infinity more so than any team I've watched so far executes that grenade push so well. It is. As Praise is just going right Woo! now, he realizes he can catch someone. He's gonna oh! get him down, get the kill, but he's oh, he's not done yet. Takes out the grenade. grenade? Very smart. Oh! The smoke grenade detonated the grenade, <laughs> oh and Ribs technically got the kill, even though Praise threw that grenade. So. Crazy they, things are happening right now. They actually timed the smoke grenade with the grenade so that when Praise would throw the grenade, the smoke would blow it up. I don't know if that was luck or if it was skill, but I can tell you one thing. It was absolutely ridiculous, yeah, and I loved every doubt. second of it. That so was sick. Four to one, we see the first map being taken by Infinity. You know, I wouldn't want to say I expected it, but I expected it. You know, I that's kind of how it's going to be. It was amazing. That was just so awesome. The, yep. the, the way that Praise executed that on his own. When you're thinking about it as a player, you might think like, oh, he's in a, you know, 1v2 scenario. Maybe that isn't the greatest thing to do. But to him, he's like, you know what? I've got three seconds with you one-on-one. -on -one. With your yep. back turned to me, I'm, gonna take I'm it. with that. I'll take that. And I then he goes in, capitalizes on that. And then you're thinking, is he going to grab a meat shield? What's he going to do? Instead, he throws out a grenade. And just so you know, his teammate's smoke grenade yep. needs to be flying right over. And, and then they take it out together. And you hit the nail on the head. Whether or not that was on purpose or not, I loved it. it like, that matter. was awesome to watch. Sometimes Grenades just, are blowing up. I'm happy. Like, sometimes you have beautiful accidents. And when you do, <laughs> yeah. just take him as a present, keep it moving, and make it happen. And I if it, it was on purpose, even if it wasn't on purpose, tell them it was on purpose anyway. Yep. Just to get in their head. Beautiful accidents. I like that. Sounds like a, yeah. a, a title of a movie or something. You know what? I'm with it. It's like a, it. a newborn. <laughs> <laughs> beautiful accidents featuring fertility. I'm about it. So. <laughs> it was definitely very, very awesome. Uh, we're going to be getting ready to hop into the next map. Well, for any of you guys out there looking to maybe start a team, you know, hopefully this tournament goes well. We can keep them coming for you guys. There's yeah. some things in store. That's the, the, the number one piece, I think. We both yeah. would agree. Play with people you enjoy. People Play with people you trust. Uh, have a and then great go from time. There. Just have a great time. Like, don't focus so much on it just being competitive. Just honestly, just try to have some fun. Definitely. You know, just try to have a great time and just, you know, meet new people and just have a good time playing the game. So, Fido, I want to leave it to you, man. Who do we hop on board with to start King of the Hill wrestling? It's going to be a shit show either way. Honestly, I'm, I'm totally about hopping board with Ian's. I just want to see oh, where he yeah? goes. I think he's got a front spawn. He does. He's got a front spawn. So, he's going to be in the, the initial The stars engagement. are aligning. Everything yeah, perfect. Everything is nice. Now, for let's him. see if he can go close. Baby, That's right it. here, he's pushing into the mulcher room. He's in. Gonna take the bull. He's actually gonna try and chase with the right hand right there. Yeah, he's just holding it off for a second. Infinity, though, playing this very pass. It looks like they're gonna be going Send for a one of silverback, push. actually. So yeah, so they have a wide angle at silverback. They're kind of purposely giving them the the angle. Um, Ian's just gonna push out a little bit, try to get some damage. He's full right those back up. Or oh, still Anthony beautiful. picking up a great nil, uh, grenade kill. Way to abuse that power weapon, buddy. So he does that, and then now Infinity's getting ready to move around the map to pick up a kill on Violet. Oh, oh, oh there's Geo. There's Geo the mask big. in the strat. There's yep. the mask. So he comes out, grabs that kill. Absolutely huge right there, John. I thought you said the mouse in the strap, but that was true too. He was yeah. like sneaky Either. Mouse He's a little sneaky beaver, you know? Sneaky beaver. Sneaky sneaky beaver. Mouse. I like that. Sneaky, sneaky, sneaky mouse. Sneaky mouse. Sneaky mouse. something new to the table. So yeah, it was absolutely awesome. Right back, AJ gets a kill. He Ian grabs out. He a kill. Back. These guys are going toe to toe with Infinity when it comes to slaying. They are not, they are. They're not that nervous right now, I don't think, because they're kind of feeling it. And here we Let's go, go pushing him over just want to get the meat shield. No respect, and he maybe should have had a little bit more respect because he's going to get taken yep. down pretty easily by praise. Yep, that meat shield is definitely a factor. It's hard to take it out. A lot of people, a lot of the uh, experienced players, usually what they try to do is uh, pistol the head and then yep. maybe take out the main player instead of going for the meat shield. But it's a tough play. But it looks like everybody's alive again. And now RSL Anthony's going to get taken out. Um, Ruthless, that's also known as Praise, is going to be able to get a kill. He has a meat shield. Infinity looking very good right here, and it looks like their counter push strategy is going to be quite effective. I couldn't agree more. And when you thought for a second that RSL was going to get so much hill time because they had map control, yep. map control necessarily isn't everything. It's how you will use that map control Definitely. and how you use the transition that's going to give you that advantage. And right now, Infinity is starting to get some control right here. They're up 21 seconds to zero. They have outside control of Silverback. Next hills are going to most likely be going to either of the nades. Sometimes we might see it go to Silverback, but we're going to see where it goes because in about ten, in one second, we're going to see where that next hill is going to be. And looking at and the cameras, be at the anchor nades. So as expected, it's going to move to the ink. And, and here's what's actually interesting. Uh, 
Uh, Resilience could have capped off the bat. They did yeah. not cap the hill off the bat. And, and Infinity actually, I've noticed, they sent one to Silverback in their initial strat. I know we're kind of we're moving on now, so we're not going to focus on that. We'll analyze that later for you guys. As yep. Atmo takes out one member of Resilience, Praise is go they're just going off for now. Take it to look at, a look at the kills. Yep. Five kills for Praise right now, four for Ribs. Uh, in total, five kills for all of Resilience. So it's not looking too good for them right now. They need to do a better about job. Already 13 kills from Infinity. I think we had six guy right there from Resilience. Infinity already having a setup on this next hill, which is great for them. They're blocking the spawn. They're abusing the long respawns to make sure that their opponents get a long spawn by abusing that spawn wave feature. If you're new to Gears of War, basically all that means is every 15 seconds in the game is when new players will spawn if they are dead. The point is, is after it hits 15, 30, 45 seconds or 0, 0, to make sure that you kill someone right after so it takes them a longer period of time to spawn so you can abuse having a man advantage. And Infinity is doing that right now and they, oh my god, Praise is not having it. He's not having it. <laughs> and that's been we all game. Watch that. And he's not having it. That's been all game. It. That wasn't a spur of excellence. That was all game. And look at this. There's, look still, at this. there's still 40 Multiple seconds left in this hill and he's going in. Oh my them. god! Oh my god, this kid's going nuts. There's 40 seconds left. Rather than setting up and sitting in that hill, like most teams do, yep. they're flying off of their spawn. They realize that's a smart play. They realize they're going to be spawning in Mulcher. Let's take advantage of that spawn trap them in Mulcher. That's something I don't see out of many teams, to be honest. Nope, that's something you're going to see the very, very experienced teams do, and the veterans usually, but... Man, oh right my now, god, Praise oh is not my done yet. god. He every, is going off. Every single time that you think Praise is going to die, what he's doing is he's abusing the map features and giving himself an opportunity to abuse his surroundings to get that extra shot, to play for damage, to take it slow, and let his opponent run into him instead of him running into his opponent. Definitely. So when you're in a situation where there's two people in front of you, but they have so many things to focus on, if they don't make the call to focus on you, you can capitalize on that. and you Use that skirmish to your advantage, and that's exactly what he's doing right now. And here we go. Resilience fighting for these last 20 seconds in this hill. Is it worth it? I mean, it may not be worth it, but at the end of the day, you need the hill time, but Atmo's not having it. He was uh, hiding in a corner. They're not even going to get the hill time. He waited, and he was like, oh, wait, you want this hill time? No, 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 no. You're going to have to wait not a second. Even. You're going to have to earn that. <laughs> so he's making it a little bit difficult for them, and that's exactly what you want to do as a player. Be as much of a nuisance as you could possibly be. I couldn't agree more. Don't really hand anything over for free. Make them work for it. And then that's exactly what Infinity's doing so right big now. Big shotgun fight going on. Oh, oh my god! Oh my god, my elite! That was so sick! That was disgusting. Overhand, over the Flames cover, had right fire. hand on him too. He should have had him down. But wow, he, great he play by Violet. able to capitalize on that, and just like that, Violet makes a big play. 92 seconds to zero. It looks like Resilience might be hopping on the board. Um, looks like they might be trying to give J Ribs a long spawn. But take a look at Ribs right now, though. Ribs is actually in their spawn. He wants to stay alive right now, um, yep. and he's he's just gonna sit back here and maybe hopefully spawn his team there if he can. But he gets a call out from a team that he that they could do some help at Silverback, so he's gonna fly over there and help out. Yep. Here and comes the cross. Didn't even need to. Flames handles the one versus one on his own. Yep. Flames Ammo takes that. out Anthony, and there we go. They're gonna break this hill setup, I think, right now. Four versus two situation. And we're going to see a push. Ribs getting some cross. great cross into them. And that's it. Praise looking, takes one out. Looking very, very good for Infinity right now. Resilience is able to get some hill time, but these counter strat pushes from Infinity are absolutely incredible. You can just see the focus, the determination, and everything just lining each other lining each other up perfectly. And they're looking great right now. They break that two push. They give two players a long spawn. It's going to be a little bit before Violates and Anthony spawn back. So they're going to have to wait a little bit. And Ruthless, a.k.a. Uh, Praise, is going to back up, even though he's full red, reset. And then when AJ's not looking at him, he's going to be able to push up to middle control room. And now he's going to be able to make a play. He might even possibly push up on Anthony right there, or he'll just wait, because now Infinity has nade control. They, they do. capitalized on most of that hill time. They have nade control. And now it looks like they're going to be getting set up, because the most next hill most likely is going to go Silverback. And there it is, right on cue. Comes up on Silverback. And here we go, John. Yeah, so four versus two situation. They're going to push out of the ink hot spawn right now and just slay. And that's what Infinity's been doing. That's the story of this map, is Infinity, their slaying capabilities, Take a look at the kills real quick as you see Ribs taking one versus one. It Ooh. takes them out. They're not dying. Ruthless, aka Praise, with 16 kills right now. He is going off. Right behind him is Atma with eight kills. And in total, what do we have? In we total, have we nine got kills. 16, 5, 8, 8, 8, 8, 16. That's 32. 32 plus 5. Uh, we got 37 kills. So, boom, let's do it. Let's map that up that? real quick. Apparently, we have a mathematician at our hand, guys. How do you that, do that? I'm going to go so far, man. That's what a college degree gets you, huh? <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> a little simple math, right? The calculator is right in front of me. You just can't see it. <laughs> I, bought that, I whipped out the phone real quick. Oh, man. But, that, was, um, that was good, though. That was yeah, good. I'll give it to you. And in total, for uh, all of Resilience, only nine kills. So. You know, not looking too good. It's just the slaying capabilities and affinity. That's what they're that's what they're known for. That's what they're good at. And that's what yep. they're executing. Yep, and here comes the push from Resilience. They're trying to make plays, but they're going to get caught off guard. I think that one of the most important things we need to note right here, especially on this King of the Hill, is Infinity, every single time they take the team out, even if they take all members out, they will always make sure that at least one of you has a long spawn. Yep. They're trying to make it as difficult as possible for Resilience to make these pushes as a unit. And that's exactly what you need to do on Lent. Put a little bit of fear in their hearts and make it a little bit harder for them 
to earn those hills, to earn those breaks, and it's exactly what they're doing very efficiently right yeah. now. And not only that, but think about the mental aspect of it, too. Yeah. It really wears down on a team if you're, oh, yeah. you're constantly at 15 second spawns. I mean, it's tough to deal it's with tough. that. It's tough. It's like, back. it's like, damn, it's not even a 4v4 game anymore. We're kind of really yep. separated, and you have to re, you know, regroup, reanalyze what you're going to do. They are down 195 seconds to 28. I don't know if they're going to be able to break this hill. The next hill's going to be coming up. It's going to be on the, the Vulture Hill. Line fire, Lancering from Geo, and here comes the headshot! Oh my god! He did a back flip off the wall, landed <laughs> on his butt, and he's dead, but Geo is gonna be sitting there, capping the hill right now, and once Infinity caps this hill, I think they've got it, John. Ten seconds left to go, uh, two members I think are dead, three members are dead, one member left to go, and I don't think he's close enough to the hill, and I believe that is all she wrote, John. What a great game, though, we've seen Definitely. between these two teams duking it out right now. Absolutely sick. I cannot agree more, and it's not necessarily what is Resilience doing wrong, it's more what is Infinity it, doing, doing right. right. Honestly, yeah, it's they're not just slaying. And 20 kills in the King of the Hill match yeah. that ended that fast. Yeah. 20 kills. That's it was a very, very quick King of the Hill. The thing is for Resilience right there, it is a little bit tough because you are playing against one of the best teams in the world. But even if you lose the map, it's not the end of the world. You're not out of the match just yet. Focus on what's going on. Figure out what inches that Infinity is getting on the battlefield that you're not able to get and turn that around so that you're able to turn that match around and start capitalizing on your own and get a little bit of that motivation, get a, bit, a little bit of that hype back and just bring it back. That, that is spot on. And not only that, but here's, here's what I noticed from Clock Tower. Yes, Infinity won 4-1, to one, but the one round that Infinity matched the other team, they were, they were even, right? Yeah. Resilience brought it to them, and we yeah. saw some. You know, so I, I we think saw some they have something in them I, that I that I noticed. I think they can they can pull something together. They just need a little bit better execution. The strategies could use some work, for my yeah. opinion. Uh, you know, obviously Infinity's nade strat on Collector was working really well, and the fact that they didn't change it up ever is is a concern for me. The fact that there was a one versus two situation, he noticed. Okay, that guy has the digger. He doesn't have a lance or push him. It's this very small, the small and peculiar things that Ribs has a keen eye for. I think that's what he excels and at. If I could describe that in just a few words, I would simply say that Infinity is battling for every inch on the battlefield. Definitely. That's exactly what they're doing and it's definitely paying off for them. They have a 2 lead, 0 oh lead right now. We're going to be going into Execution of Hell Such a great map. We've got a 4 inside strategy from Infinity right off the bat. These boys are ready to contest and get and get hot with it. And then from the Locust team, they have a, one guy going outside. Yeah. And we're going to see a 2 bow here, which yeah. is interesting because Infinity usually likes to fight near the H and for the grenades and they're going to go. They're not They're not backing out actually. Woo. Great. Oh my Looking god. That Beautifully executed strategy right there for Infinity. The flank through piano. Ammo takes that one. 3 versus 2 situation right now. 4 resilient or for Infinity, I'm sorry. And Ammo goes down, though, so one yep. versus two. Ian's, our man Ian's. But there's kind of some fire in front of him that might... Ooh, what's up with the fire, yeah. man? Typically, you don't want to step on fire. It's, it's general rule of thumb in life, I think. Man, he's stepping on those hot coals right now. <laughs> he's getting a little hot, but he's going to gonna push in. He's going to get, unfortunately, caught off guard. He gets the Lancer down. A little unfortunate. Things happen. But great job trying to stay yep. alive. He did the best he could. He falls down a little bit short. But the key thing is right now, it's going to boom round. Yep. They need to focus on whatever strategy they're going to use to try to execute on this boom round to try to get around Definitely. and try to get that motivation and back. One, one thing I'm liking out of praise, I've been seeing him use his Lancer a lot more than I'm used yes. to seeing him do on 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 online. Sorry. Yes. So I, I like that play out of him. Different different style of play for Praise. You'll and notice on board of them. You'll notice from Infinity that all the players are extremely versatile. When you look at a player like Praise and you think about him, sometimes you think shotgun. Beautiful. Because right? he's so good at that. Yep. But then you'll see him pistol. You'll see him lancer. Definitely. You'll see him use power weapons you're not used to seeing him use before. And he's going to capitalize with that. And being versatile, like I spoke with the Moral Spawn, is oh. so important. RS Anthony kills Jay Riz, but he also kills his teammate. 2v3 situation from RSL. He's going to get taken out. One more player left. I think they almost got him. Oh, but he can catch off the teammate. He oh, but he's going to go down. So Ian's going to go down. Nice uh, violence try. It was a violence. Okay, so one thing that I think you missed there while you were breaking down the gameplay, Atmo went huge that round, actually. Oh, yeah. Atmo, Atmo went huge right round. Very, very smart decision for him, obviously, to flank the guy answering his teammates at boom. Yep. But then he actually pushed inside. He, he Instead of just fighting, he went very far left and actually got an angle on them, and that's what actually allowed him to get some shots yep. and make sure that they didn't clutch. Very smart play by Atmo right there. Yeah, he's, he's, Atmo is MVP one of the calmest of that round, players sure. we'll, we'll ever see. He's always calm. He's always cool, collected Ooh, and always doing what he in. needs to do. Oh, Ian's actually push, hopped over. Oh. And there it is. Boom. Just takes him out just He's like that. He's not done, though. Pushing a guy with flame grenades. Oh, oh, my God. God. He pulled it off. Unbelievable. I cannot believe he it. He will balance cancels, abusing that alternate feature that he loves so much because Ammo does play on alternate. He's able to grab that second kill as well. Not many people in the world that you'll see yep. push flame grenades, John, but yeah, no, he exactly. These things are care. nukes. They're not just flame. They're nukes. I like the term nukes. One versus one. So right now, but on the other side of the map, what we didn't see was broke back AJ actually going huge on the opposite side of the map. Yep. And now it's a two versus two. Despite Atmo getting a two piece, uh, it's going to actually slow down here. and We're going to see a two versus two situation. Yep. Ruthless and is it flames? Oh, two great. Sorry, not ruthless. I keep calling Praise. ruthless. Praise and flames. Two great players. Yep, so we got Praised and Flames, and they got both of them, and they are against Brokeback AJ. And I can't see the other player yet, but we'll see him in just a second. And then 
things are about to get real hectic. So we got broke back AJ and violates going up against flames and praise, and it's about to get real, folks. Uh, Geo has the torque bow. It looks like he's trying to lob one over that cover, but now maybe they're going to reset. Yeah, they're going to reset. They're going to go for another power weapon instead. They're going to go for outside control. They're going to spread the map, and they're going to try to use their chemistry and teamwork to try to, you know, overcome this Definitely. resilient squad. And one thing and that's very interesting, while Ribs and I were commentating, we noticed that the grenades actually spawn quicker online than they do online. The, the yeah. incendiary grenades will spawn in a minute, as opposed to online, it's a minute and 30. 30. Um, yeah. So that's a service dive update that did not register. So the flame grenades will be up soon. Yep. If not, they're up already. Are they up yet? No, they, but they will be up very the soon. The other thing we'll also notice. Too, knows that, trust me. Is the inks, the inks of this tournament actually do stun, believe it or not. So be careful. I mean, I got stunned in my match earlier when I was playing. Oh, that's, I was quite on your that's a mistake on your host. Yeah, it, okay. it probably is, but you yeah, gotta be a little bit careful of that too. But looking at this right now, here comes the push from Infinity. They've got that digger, they're trying to make moves. Uh, one I'll of their players should get there. wide control. Oh, and he's stunned. Yep, he's stunned. He's just hanging out. It looks like they're gonna try to pitch these players at bow. Um, broke back AJ is pushing up right now. And let's see what happens. A little bit of a standoff once again. Here comes the incense. And now yeah. violates his trap. Yep. Tough situation. Broback AJ is by himself right now. Stuck right there. He's they the use that fire. incense to cut him off. Oh, oh what a out. great play by Infinity. Smart That's just thinking right ahead. There. It is. That was a very smart play to put the, nade, uh, the fire grenade right on Torque Bow. Um, what that does, it splits them, obviously. Yep. So the member of Resilience up definitely thought that he was safe because he's like, oh, that flame grenade's not going to hit me. Yep. I'm okay. But then the second he looks behind him, it's like, oh, wait, that flame grenade just cut me off. Wait, I have a problem. Uh, before he knows it, he's getting flanked around and his teammate gets, you know, Clutched on a little bit, gets taken out by map positioning, and before we know it, that's exactly what it is. And now we see Violets in a 1v2 scenario. He has a great oh. low cross, though. Oh, but he misrolls, and unfortunately, he's not going to be able no, to grab I, that I would have wanted to see him hold his L trigger with his Lancer there and get some headshots and maybe pull off a down. Yeah. Uh, you know, but unable to do much. Um, Nasty, who's actually sitting right next to us, I gave him a shout out last match. When he is on Hotel in a 1v2, he. Hands on the most clutch player on Hotel from what I've seen. Uh, he actually crazy. Just, he takes the shotgun out and he runs at people. So that's what I like to see in a one versus two on, on Hotel. The way the map is designed, you can really catch people around corners and, and you, you force people to split around the two always, sides of the torpo. If you always catch play for damage. Get the most amount of damage that you can while taking in the lead so you can stay alive a little bit longer and try to make that clutch play. Looking at the map right now, Atmos already going to pick up a kill on the initial. He's the icebreaker this round. He's going to get one kill. Another guy gets taken out. Giovinci is also taken out. So it's a 3v1 just like that. Oh my god, the boot player accidentally kills himself because he kills the sandbag. <laughs> so unfortunate. Could have possibly been a kill, but unfortunately he's going to go down and Infinity looking so Let's strong Take a here. look at the stats right now before they back out. Atmo with seven kills, one down, and 1.1k points. Definitely played a great game right there. Yeah. And that, was, that was definitely noticeable through every, all the plays he was making. So Infinity just innate. simply being... Infinity, and I believe that's the match that was clocked out. Russ Long and Hotel. It is. And that's the best of five. 3 0 to Infinity. And what was that, an 18 minute match? <laughs> it was that a was, quick it one. was quick, but you know what? Even though it was a little fast, Resilience still tried to be as resilient as possible and do their thing, get some rounds in. They did a little bit good on some of the executions. Uh, they made some smart plays, and Ian, definitely one of the highlight players from their team right there. So great job by him and the rest of his squad. Um, just next time, just try to, you know. Review the footage, yep. try to find some weaknesses in your gameplay, and then just focus on making them better. And exactly. before you know it, who knows, maybe next time it gets a fit, you'll take a map, maybe two.